As humans, we tend to get bored when we are stuck in monotonous experiences. Our brains don't respond well to experiences that are too predictable, and this lack of stimulation can trigger a negative reaction or no reaction at all. Imagine you are walking and you come across a brown cow. You will notice it. But as you advance, you come across more brown cows after every 700 meters. Will you be amazed anymore? Not likely. You will rather look at them and continue with your road trip. There is nothing new anymore about brown cows. They have gotten boring. But if you come across just one single purple calf on the same road, chances are high that you will stop and stare at it in surprise. If you love cows, you will want to take one yourself, since purple cows are not everywhere to see. In the purple cow, Seth Godin argues that the market doesn't notice mediocre products, they are boring. If you want to be successful at business today, you must stop advertising mediocre products and start innovating products that are exciting and remarkable enough to attract people's attention. Welcome to Nurtured by Books, a community where young entrepreneurs find ideas from books that make businesses successful. If you are new here, welcome! Be sure to subscribe so that you don't miss out on insightful content like this. In this video we are looking at How to transform your business by being remarkable From The Purple Cow by Seth Godin Don't compete, be remarkable Steve Jobs, the founder of Apple Incorporated, once famously said You can't look at the competition and say you're going to do it better you have to look at the competition and say you are going to do it differently. According to Seth Godin, being remarkable means building a product that is worth giving a remark, a product worth talking about. When someone buys a remarkable product, they will discuss it among their peers and that's how it will be marketed by word of mouth. Find something that is going to make your product stand out other than its price. Look at gadgets. Companies that have dared to be different have stood out of the crowd. They have almost rendered their competitors inexistent. Look at how Google beat Yahoo, Facebook beat MySpace and Apple beat Nokia. When you get comfortable at making mediocre products, a new innovative company will soon take you out of business. Mass marketing is old school. Before the internet, the only way of doing business was making a product and marketing it using strategies like TV commercials and newspaper ads. This form of marketing worked before because people had few choices, so they only ran to the televisions to figure out good products on markets. Today, this doesn't work as well as it used to because there are very many options to choose from, but there is less time to sort them out. An average consumer sees 144 advertisements every single day on their smartphones. Consumers have the luxury to compare these products and their prices, so even if you have a big budget to spend, marketing boring products will not take you far. For your product to be chosen, it should really be exceptional. The new way of marketing the usual way of doing business was making mediocre products combined with great marketing. Today, the rules have changed to creating remarkable products that the right people seek out. Marketing a mediocre product is like slapping purple paint on a brown cow. Remarkable marketing is the art of building things worth noticing into your product or service. It is not slapping marketing as a last minute add-on but understanding that if what you are offering isn't remarkable, it's invisible. Marketing done right is where the marketer changes the product, not the ads. Where does your product end and marketing hype begin? Can you redefine what you sell in a simple way? Remarkable marketing is the act of inventing the product, the effort of designing it, the craft of producing it, the art of pricing it and the technique of selling it. A purple cow company should be run by a marketer. That is why David Packhart said, Marketing is too important to be left to the marketing department. How to be remarkable One way of being remarkable is through niching. 
This means taking a risk of creating a product aimed at satisfying needs of a specific market. Find your own tribe to lead, your own kingdom to rule. Whenever you decide to serve one group of people, the ignored group will criticize you, but the advantage is that you will gain loyalty from the served group. As a reward for watching this video up to the end, here is a bonus takeaway for you. Target the sneezers. After making a remarkable product, market it only to people who are likely to spread it by word of mouth, the sneezers. Sneezers are people who are always on the lookout for new exciting products. They are the ones waiting for Apple's launching events to get themselves the latest iPhones. If the product is remarkable enough, Sneezers will talk about it with their peers, the early adapters, who always wait for a product to be used by other people in order to make purchasing decisions. If you try to run TV commercials by targeting everyone, you will end up marketing to nobody. Thank you so much for watching our videos. If you have found this one valuable, give it a thumbs up and share it with people you think it may help. Be sure to subscribe so that you don't miss out on interesting content like this. Turn on the notification bell to be the first to know when we upload a new video. Check on your screen, we have handpicked two more videos for you to enjoy next. See you in the next video.